Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I um, just wanted to do a quick video about oh, two things really. The first thing is a small problem that I had with the, the Bonneville when I was uh, riding home yesterday after meeting my mate. Um, but I'll come on to that in a minute. And also the list, the short list of the potential bikes that I'm going to buy or bike that I will buy in the next, well, from now really, any time from now, probably when we've moved though. Um, and I want to run through that list with you and tell me, and you can give me your opinions again, because I've had so many ideas. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to mention Rob quickly, and I'm afraid he's going to be mentioned because he was one of my best friends and, you know, he's still very much in my mind. Um, when we went up there after he passed away, um, me and two of uh, my friends, uh, we were all given letters that he'd written the family had got them too and they're just short letters sort of 10 lines and they were really really nice something really it's a treasure really and obviously i'm i'm not going to read that out to you but um there was a ps now when he was writing these letters he he obviously wasn't feeling the best and he was obviously deteriorating quite quickly um, and one of the staff at the hospice offered to um write the rest of the letters for him whilst he narrated them um, so that's what happened and my letter in particular is actually half of it's written by Rob because I know his handwriting and the other half obviously was written by this um, this member of staff that kindly volunteered to uh, write the rest of the letter now the reason I'm saying this is because there was a PS in my letter <laughs> and I know this kind of shows you what sort of guy Rob was um, because he knew that he was close to the end, probably more than any of us did. Um, but he still faced it with humour and the dignity he faced it with, it was incredible. So I'm gonna read out the PS that he, he left on the bottom of my letter because I think that will kind of show you the kind of guy he was. PS, it's imperative, Willie, that you go to my house ASAP and remove any in incriminating evidence. <laughs> Pay particular attention to the love dungeon. <laughs> oh, Rob. And he's only done that just for the effect that it would have on the woman that was, poor woman that was obviously writing down this letter for him. And for us to have a laugh. I mean, that just kind of shows the guy he was incredible. Um, and he, he actually said to me, the last time we saw him, he said to me that he wanted me, if he didn't make it, is what he said he wanted me to title the video a dying wish a, a dying wish um something like a dying wish from i uh, know wish from a dying man sorry um please subscribe to two wheel willie's channel <laughs> now before you start typing stuff i don't want you to please don't please don't subscribe to my channel i would be upset if you did what kind of youtube am i anyway don't because that's I'm happy with how many YouTube uh, how many subscribers I've got I'm more than happy so um, and I don't want people people can subscribe I never put up with those little banners up on the screen because everyone knows if they want to subscribe they can I'm happy with the subscribers I've got and if I didn't get any more I'll be just as happy so it's not important to me but I thought it was quite funny and I couldn't put that up as the title of a video because I, I know the backlash that I'd get and also I'd, I wouldn't want that so but that kind of shows again the type of guy Rob was and I'm going to tell you some stories about him on a later video I've got three or four that will make you cry with laughter hopefully right guys before I show you the bike and show you tell you the problems that I had I want to talk about my short list I have to get my phone out again of the bikes that I've it's going to be one of these there's six in the short list Ready? Right, first one, obviously, the Classic 350. That's definitely very much up the top of my list. I've had two before, I love the bike, I know how it makes me feel, I know the limitations of the bike, but it really is an incredible machine. So that is up there, and I really wouldn't care what color, because again, I'm gonna buy one of these second hand, hopefully. So depending on what's out there, it would sort of depend on the it would show the color I get, so I don't know, but any one of them would be fine. The Classic 500, now, a couple of you mentioned the Classic 500 and it's something that I've never thought about. It's a bike that's never really been on my radar because I thought it was more, please don't shoot me down, uh, 
agricultural. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I might be wrong. I've never ridden one. I don't know. Um, are they as nice to ride as a classic 350? Um, I know they've got a, f a few more brake horsepower, but I don't know. I need the roll the reliability as well. I'm not. not I'm not going to tinker about with it. So yeah, that, I mean that could be a, a possibility. The Bullet 350, that's up there as well. Now, the only problem with that um, is the fact that it will be new because there aren't many second-hand ones out because they've just, just been released, pretty much. But that is definitely on the list. Um, and the advantage with that one over the Classic 350 is the fact that it's just got one seat. Um, the disadvantage is the seat does go up a little bit at the back, but it could be remedied so it was completely like a bench seat. And in that case, it would be perfect. And I've grown to really love the look of that bullet, so that's a possibility. Next one, Kawasaki W800. Always love those bikes. They did one in a green and a white, and I thought that just looked so nice. That's on the list. It might be a little bit too similar to the Bonneville. Um, I know it's less power, but yeah, it's definitely on the list because there, there are second-hand ones of them around, and they tend to be judging them by the adverts I've seen well looked after and loved and stuff so yeah that could be a possibility the next one Benelli Benelli Imperiali 400 that is on the list because I've always been intrigued by that bike and a couple of you have commented and a, a guy sent me an email saying that he loves his um, but then a couple of others have said that the fit and finish isn't as good as a classic 350 I don't know what the ride is like, I've never ridden one, I, have, I think I've sat on one and I've certainly seen one out on, on the roads and I think they look incredible but will it give me the same grin factor as the Classic 350, I don't know, I need to ride one. If any of you have got the Imperiali and I've got a story to tell about it, please do because I'd be interested to hear that. The last one on the list, and this isn't a joke, okay, it's the Honda Monkey Bike. <laughs> I'm six foot four. I have size 15 feet, so I look like a clown already. Why not get the ridiculously smallest bike I can? Now, there is a subscriber called Big Rodders, and he is the same size as me, and he's got one, although he's a couple of stone lighter than me. I'm, I'm only 17 stone now, I say only, I'm 17 stone now, which is a lot lighter than I was at my fighting weight. <laughs> um, but I just, I, I've been looking at them this morning, and they, they're only nine brake horsepower, or have I got that wrong? Nine brake horsepower with a 17 stone clown on it. <laughs> That's got to take it down to five brake horsepower. I mean, they look incredible. The seat looks really big and comfortable, but I just don't know. I don't care what I look like, you know that. And I look big on every bike pretty much. So why not look really stupid? <laughs> and I, plus I like the look of them, um, but I certainly couldn't commute to <laughs> compute to London on it um, but it's definitely worth a test ride is what I felt they're my six tell me what you think guys and um, yeah I'll let you know obviously when I've got one I need to talk to you about my bike let me spin the camera around so guys as I, uh, I did a video yesterday as you know and I went out with my mate and on my way back on my ride home um, I felt that the, you'll notice something different by the way, <laughs> uh, about the grips. Um, I noticed that the accelerator was sticking, or it felt like it was sticking. Um, couldn't work out what it was. I presumed it was something to do with the bar and mirrors being too close to the grips and sticking. But um, then I felt that it was the, the wrap, the leather wrap on the grips that was catching on my gloves. And also it makes them fatter, so it, you, it's not as easy to let go, if you know what I mean. So I've removed them, um, and it seems fine. But when I got back yesterday and did it with the grips on, it still seemed fine. But it was definitely revving when I was decelerating. So any ideas? Is it something else? I can't take it out today because it's raining. Um, but I'm hoping that might have fixed it. So I'm happy not to have the grips on there, I don't mind. Um, they did look cool, but I'd rather be able to ride the bike safely. Yeah, tell me your thoughts. Anyway guys, um, thanks again for all the kind comments. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll do a video on Sunday and ride safe.